All right. <laughs> I see a lot of familiar faces out there in the audience tonight. Friends, family, coworkers, loved ones. I'm sure that Ray would be glad you all showed up. I mean, Ray really appreciated all of you. Well, except for Mark Clement. Mark, what are you doing here? Get out. We're all waiting, Mark. Mark, just show some decency and go. Mark, Jesus Christ, no, you can't see the body. It's a closed casket. No, you know it is. Mark, do us all a favor and go before we have to call security. Are you drunk, Mark? I mean, look now, Ray's mom is crying. Yeah, well, I guess we can't pin that one on you, but you sure aren't helping things. No, no, I don't want to take this outside. Always macho man, Mark. Big tough guy, Mark. Mr. Tough Guy. You're so sad, man. Oh, I'm the sad one now. Well, you're sadder. Hey, fuck you. What does my wife have to do with any of this? Jesus Christ, Mark, you're such a liar. And look at what you made me do. I just blasphemed in a church. I don't care if you don't believe in God. Mark, that has nothing to do with any of this. Well, I'm sure you'll believe when you're burning in hell. Say one more word, Mark. One more motherfucking word, and I swear to you, the cemetery will clear a spot for you right next to Ray. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Mark. We're the stupid ones, and you're Mr. Smart. Bye. Bye, Mark. Okay. <laughs> now that we got that over with, <clears throat> let's remember Ray. Ray was a morgue. For those of you out there who aren't familiar with the jargon of Ray's industry, that means he played corpses in motion pictures. And Ray did this over 40 films in his day. He was amazing. I mean, any of the other morgues would tell you that. When it came to remaining inanimate for a long period of time, Ray was like a praying mantis. Beautiful, man. Beautiful. Unfortunately, like all of us who work too much, he started making little flubs. You could see him breathing. The breathing corpse in the devil's own, that, that was Ray. <laughs> he started to blink too, which is never good. But Ray, Ray was such an overachiever. He just wanted to entertain. And when he started slipping, he took drastic measures. All right. And after he was fired off the set of Ilsa's Seduction 3 for breathing, he had his lungs medically removed. The authorities are still looking for the doctor. Ray didn't survive long without his lungs. Actually, three minutes was longer than anyone expected him to live. So there's even more proof of what an amazing guy he was. The thing is, I think maybe Ray wanted it this way. I mean, that is his ultimate performance right there. Immaculate. Perfect. He has certainly convinced us all that he is dead. Congratulations, Ray. You're the best man. The best.